Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Today we're back down in Hull where if you look at the, uh, if you look at the bottom right hand side of the screen, bottom right hand corner even, you will notice it is now the year 1950. Yes, since the last episode we have moved on a little bit and we do have things running uh, a little bit better. We've got a couple more modern vehicles, you will have noticed the, uh, the A4 Pacific, the, uh, the Gresley A4 running along in the gorgeous apple green livery with some Pullman coaches on board. This should actually uh, be able to do a top speed of 112 miles an hour with a capacity of 120. So the same capacity that we had before, uh, but it can go a little bit faster now, which is lovely. I mean, it could do about 80 miles an hour before, couldn't it? Now, it can't even get up to 80 because, yes, okay, it can go a little bit quicker, but, uh, but it is incredibly slow to get going. We do also have a uh, the York to Hull Express there. Also pulling Pullman coaches, but I thought we'd go for the BR Blue on, uh, on that particular locomotive, just so we've got a little bit of variation. I don't know why, but despite the fact I've had this on fast, uh, fast speed, whilst we even out, uh, you know, while we move forward a little bit into the 1950s, for some reason, uh, these have still not kind of leveled themselves out. I've got it set here. Uh, on the York to Hull Express, so they wait uh, a maximum amount of time. There you go, maximum stop time, just infinity, uh, in the hope that they'll, uh, there we go. If we, if we move that to 10 minutes, up the auto saves doing this thing, because I have actually been playing a while now. There we go. Oh, he's going down now, look. So we're at 86 miles an hour. Well on our way. And I mean, it's, it's full, isn't it? It's well used service. It's a nice chunk of cash when it gets to the other end. Look, the, the route itself is making 8.75 million. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a good route. I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. And it's nice that we've got, uh, a, you know, a fast route. It would be nicer, I'm not going to lie to you, it would be nicer to, uh, to have something that was a bit more powerful. So it, it was sort of that cruise speed sort of speed for a little bit longer. But it's, it's not the end of the world, is it? Look at that. It's pretty. It's pretty. Shall we, uh, shall we have a nice little photo? Oh, hang on. Yep, not falling through the bottom of the world, we won't. Alright, perhaps we should use the blue mallard. I realise they're not all mallards. Mallard was just the name of one Grizzly I thought locomotive. But if I call them mallards, it looks upset people and all want to cry, won't they? Uh, oh, Joe's not calling it the right thing. In fact, does this actually have a name? No, it doesn't. I know that there's six uh, A4s surviving to this day, I believe. Many years ago, there was a great gathering up in York, and they brought them all back together at York Railway Museum. It was actually very pretty. I, uh, I attended that. It was brilliant. Brilliant day out. Look at that. Oh, he's steaming along. Flying. Look at that. Never has York and Hull ever experienced such high-speed trainery. I'm hoping. I mean, this is the inaugural... Uh, this is the inaugural high-speed journey. It's the first high-speed journey we've ever done on uh, on this. I've only just upgraded it. So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how much it pays. Because, I mean, you look in the bottom left-hand corner, and to say that we have upgraded so many of our trains, so many of our buses, it really, like, you'd, you'd expect us to have a little bit more money back, wouldn't you? I mean, we've, we've really not, not really made a lot of money on this. I think it's to do with not having as long a distance trains, is it? You know, we, we seem to have struggled a little bit more than in previous series, for example, at making money. I was hoping we'd have millions by now, but uh, it would appear uh, that the game has other ideas. Having said that, the last time I advanced the, uh, the, the game on it, it gave us about a quarter of a million, didn't it? Not quarter of a million, I'm lying to you. 250 million. Coming around the corner now. Into, uh, into Queen's Annoyed, another steam locomotive pulling out there. See, the light's on the wrong side, isn't it, really? We are unlocking a lot of new vehicles at the top of the screen, aren't we? I'm sort of blissfully ignoring all of them. The problem is having us coming into the station so slowly here is not going to help the uh, the whole 
how much money you're going to earn as we arrive. Oh, there's another steam train here. Look at that. LMS looking uh, completely out of place next to the A4. Oh. Didn't realise they'd have her doing the announcements all the way back in these days. Look at that. Six and a half million. That is perfectly acceptable. I mean, how many have we got? We've got 183 passengers waiting. And look, the one behind is literally just there at this junction. I really wish that they'd space themselves out. Maybe we need to put another train on. Hmm. Hmm, I'm not sure. Not sure, not sure, not sure. Oh, he's off already. Flipping heck. Doesn't hang about, does he? I mean, there's, there's, there's no signal. There's no signal. Oh my goodness me. Right, let's put a signal in here. Do we have a signal on a stick? Yep, one way. There we go. I have a signal on a stick there. Completely out of place compared to the semaphore, isn't it? But never mind. Off he goes again. That'll do. Yeah, if he's going to keep making us a lot of money like that, that's, that's absolutely fine by me. Look, you see, that they're crossing over here again. Hmm. I guess it's not as easy, is it, when, uh... No, look, that one coach. Network South East. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Network South East out in the 1950s? I don't think they were. <laughs> I don't think Network South East was a thing, but uh, I'm happy to be proved wrong. I think we might need to sort of keep an eye on them and maybe get one to wait at one of the ends just to sort of balance the service out a bit more. Anyway, yes, the year is 1950. We're going to get some, uh, well, it's 1951 now. Uh, the truck hull tools is uh, is in need of some better trucks, I think, because uh, that's a little bit knackered, isn't it? Let's have a look. What have we got down here? You can carry all cargo, so we'll replace with you. Excellent. Uh, the hull... Uh, the Gould to Snaith buses are not particularly brilliant. Okie dokie. God, look at Gould. Gould has grown massively, hasn't it? Let's replace you with them. Okay, they're not British buses, but it's just one of them things, isn't it? What I would like to do today, first of all, is there is a food shortage. Beverly's not getting all the food it wants. Neither is Gould down there. The two places that need food. Hull. Look at how much Hull is growing. That's mental. Oh, I love it. We're going to have to get more buses in at this rate. Um, but yes, we do need to produce more food. This farm is producing as much food as it possibly can. If you look, we've also got black fives on there. Look at that. Yeah, I replaced those two with some, uh, some black fives. We could do with maybe connecting up to this farm, which is up here. So we're going to do that first of all. Hopefully we'll get some more uh, produced and if we get more produce, we're just going to make more money, aren't we? So uh, it's, it makes sense to do. Right, let's have a look. So, no catenary. For obvious reasons. Keep that flat. Uh, oh, no, that's... Hang on, I built catenary in the station. Ah, terrible. Right. And I built the wrong track. This isn't going well, is it, so far? Right, tools. Get rid of that. Yeah, lovely. Right, okie dokie. We need to build you straight across... I think we'll build you over here. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, yeah, I forgot. It, since the uh, the previous update, it doesn't like building bridges, does it, this game? But that might do. What have we uh, What have we got there? That's lovely. Okay. Now, you're wanting a wooden bridge, but you can't have a wooden bridge. What can you have? Let's have a look at what we've got available to us. That would be nice. All right, it's a little bit low, isn't it? Hmm... Hmm. Oh. Okay, perhaps when I, it's a nice idea. It's perhaps not tall enough for uh, for that. Let's go with the green one that's sort of submerged in the water. It multitasks as like a fish catching bridge. There we go. Right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get you on there. Nice little sixty mile an hour. Uh, there, build you to just mirror uh, this line here. Can we can we get them to stick together there? Yes, we can. Look at that. Build it all the way around so that it's level. There we 
go. Get a bit of signalling in there. We'll, uh, I think the rest of it's signalled, isn't it? So, yes, it's just this bit that needs signalling. And then, right, okie dokie. So we're going to pick up there at Hornsey Branch. We're going to come down to here. And then somehow we can get in here, can't we? Uh, so, Beverly. Platform 2, but drop off on 1 and 3 as well, if needs be. That'll do. Right, so you will be the train... Beverly Grain 3. Hang on, Beverly Grain 2? Where are you coming from? Oh, you're coming from up there. Oh, I've already... I didn't realise we already had a farm. Oh, flipping heck. And you... You need another train on you then, don't you? Because, yeah. Oh, crumbs, Joe's messed it up. Blooming over. Right, we won't need that farm. Okay, we don't need it for the time being, but it's good to have it. You know, it's, it is good to have it, isn't it? Blummin' Elmer. You moron. Flipping at the whole Selby Express is not particularly busy, is it? Goodness me. What have we got? The whole Selby Express going out there. You see, why is there another one coming in? Why are they all to... Because there's only two on there. No, no wonder you're not making money when you're stuck together like that. Does anyone have any ideas? Let me know in the comments if you uh, if you know how to space your trains out better. Hmm. Maybe I need to sort of mess around with this timetable button at the bottom here. That'd be interesting. I mean, we do have the timetable thing on there, so maybe they don't sit and wait. Maybe I actually have to timetable them with the timetable mod. Oh, God, that's another flipping effort, isn't it? Right, let's get a couple more buses in there. Hang on, how many are you currently carrying? Eight. You can carry ten and go faster, so we'll replace you. And the bus holds a ferry bit. We'll replace you as well. again, we, we do need more. Now, Francesca did mention, the lovely Francesca did mention uh, about us putting some trams into Hull, because apparently Hull did used to have trams. Uh, right, hang on. So what we're going to do is do just that. There we go. We're going we're gonna to put a bit of that in. But then we're going to put some more street access in down there. And I'm hoping you'll like why I've chosen to do it like this. But, uh, but yeah, we're going to put some... The problem is, is that the, you, you struggle to get roads wide enough. You see, that's quite a wide road. But even then, it's not wide enough, is it? It's, it's a bit an odd one. But then that's too wide. It's, it's such an inconvenience, isn't it, really? Again, ever so slightly too wide. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll go with this one. And what we're going to aim to do is have the whole circular tram. Tell you what we'll do. We'll, we'll get round this now. Right, you're going to go up there. And you can go off there. There we go. Look at that. Right, now, it doesn't matter, does it? You can't really tell because it looks like just... So that does look better. I'll, I'll give you that one. Now... Where's everything going? So you... Oh, you can actually go out of there now. That should hopefully speed the process up. Have the uh, buses coming in and out of here. Fingers crossed. What we will do is we will... Oh, I don't suppose we need any others, do we? What have we got coming in on platform two currently? Right, we'll move you to three. Not three, no, no. no. Move you to one. No, I think I've just messed everything up there. Right. Move you to three, and you to three. You're already on three. And you to two. There. I think that's... Is that right? Nope. Now everyone's still going the wrong way. Move you to three. No. No, oh, it's complicated, is this? Right. Three... No, one. Oh, no, hang on. These are always going to need to... Oh, I don't know. There. That should be fine, possibly. 
Yeah, maybe. Right, okay. So, I want some clockwise and anti-clockwise trams going. But they're going to come past the station. Because I don't want the trams to actually have to turn around. Because if the trams have to turn around, they, they just look really bizarre, don't they, when trams turn around. So we're going to have the tram coming out here. I mean, it's going to look weird anyway, turning these tight corners on the trams. But we're going to go across like this. We're going to go round, yeah, over the railway bridge. Run out of money. Excellent, excellent. That is exactly what we wanted. How on earth have we run out of money? God, I don't know how it happens. Right, there we go. We'll pop it on a bit of high speed just to make a bit of cash. You can then go up here. And then round the front with the tram line. Yeah, lovely. There we go. We have a tram line. We have a tram line, everybody. Who'd have seen that coming? Right, okay. I feel like singing some sort of song. You know, like when the Simpsons got their monorail and they were all singing the monorail song. Yeah, I, I feel like that's what we should be doing. Right, there we go. And we will put another stop there. Because we need another bus stop here so that you can connect with the tram because this bus stop is very busy, isn't it? And hopefully this might actually take a bit of pressure off the buses. So, manage the line. Uh, right, hang on. Five, so after stop five, stop there. And then just the one before 12, stop there. So that should be 13 now. Lovely. Should we have a, a, a doodah down here? There we go. Stick you on... No. I'll put you there, that'll do. I hope this makes money, Francesca, because we're blaming you if it doesn't. It was your idea, love. <laughs> it will make money, won't it? it? It just will. I have a really good feeling about this. Right, why are you not going? Why would you do that? Ah, I suppose it doesn't really know it's a tram yet, does it? So, tram hull clockwise. And then you can go there, yeah. And then you can do the tram hull anti clockwise. I reckon we should have four of each. Ooh, what's that? Okay. That'll do. We'll go with the ATM. It can carry a lot of people. 26, 19, 23. Yeah, it can carry the most. Eight. There we go. One, two, three, four. On the tram hull anti-clockwise. And you can be on the tram hull clockwise. There we go. Look at that. Trams for hull. I hope that they actually look fairly decent when they turn the corners, because sometimes... Yeah, that's that's alright, I'll give you that one. Sometimes the, the gangway bits between can look a little bit... A little bit naff, can't they? On, uh, on trams, that's why I don't tend to use trams, but yeah. It's, uh, it's good that these are looking half decent. Now, who's queuing to go where? Tram hull anti-clockwise is going in there. Tram hull clockwise is going in there. Lovely. We might actually, should we put some more, put some more of these doodads on here? There we go. Just a couple. So that the ones that are on, right, there we go. Terminal 5, you can move to 1 and you can move to 2. So we should, in fact, we'll put another, another thing on here as well. Another bus station. Look how big the bus station's got all of a sudden. But on here, on the terminals, so you will be Terminal 5. Yeah, there we go. You can move to Terminal 1. There we go. Look, oops, not pause. Much better. Much more efficient. And then the trams just have their own executive little... Oh, hang on, you're, you're not stopping, are you? Nope, he's going straight through, as is this chap. Right, okay. Excellent. Are we... 
We getting anybody for the tram? Okay, there's a few waiting. Okay, how many have you got on? Zero. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Zero passengers. This is sort of like a, a what could have been with the whole network. Because obviously we're not going to get rid of our tramps. I know that Hull in real life did get rid of its tramps, but obviously the Joe Ahead group doesn't get rid of trams. We keep our trams running. I love a good tram. Look at that, it's nearly full. What have we got waiting here for the tram? Nothing from either party. Oh, that's disappointing. Why are you parking in the tram spot? Have we uh, have we got like it allowing? Ah, you see, yeah, we do. Whole branch. Just use your book platform, please. Now, and then same again at whole branch. Just book platform, love. Don't want the uh, the buses using our nice nice tram only platforms, do we? There we go. Want this to be like uh, an executive fast thing. 13 passengers aboard dropping them off. Hopefully this is going to go well for our, uh, you know, just anyone that wants to get into the city, but also that wants to get out of the city by, you know, public transport. Hull well, really is growing, isn't it? We've got tower blocks. You don't often sort of notice them from up here, but yeah, when you when you pan down, got plenty of tower blocks, uh, tower blocks are coming. Alright, green chaps right at the front. Six and a half million. Good on you. Good on you. Okay, Mr. Blue has waited a little bit. Has he waited as much as, as we'd like? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. Oh, I just wish they'd space themselves out. Same with you, Hulter. Flipping Selby Express. I have to admit, this is starting to look a little bit nice around Hull Interchange, isn't it? Oh, look at this, this is beyond a joke. The Hull to Beverly bus. Oh, it really doesn't need to be that frequent, does it? But at the same time, it really does. Is that the best bus we can have? What about that? I mean, that can carry 10, that can carry 12. Could go with a you could carry 12 and then let's have let's have another 10 buses again I think that's probably overkill but I mean, they're clearly needed aren't they oh dear uh, yeah, because he's not dropping everyone off, is he? Oh, maybe he is. It just takes a while to get off. I thought they would, most of them were staying on. Oh, yeah, look, they're all queuing out the bus station, for goodness sake. It's coming from here, isn't it? Into town. Oh my lord. Oh no, we've got gridlock, everybody. What we might do, what might be a better idea, is to put this as like a four, four lane road. Should we give it a try? See what happens? Oh, it's going to be a disaster. And I, I just have this feeling it's not going to end well. Right, what's that? That's a four lane road. Okay, we've had to do a little bit of deleting to uh, to accommodate it all, but how's it looking with us bus routes? Oh, hang on, get get you sorted in the middle there. Goodness me, look at that! Oof. 
When did Hull get so mentally big? Okay, the bus routes actually seem to be working pretty well, don't they? But hopefully that's going to reduce car congestion. How's the... Uh, are we making more... Oh my lord, look at how much food we're making now. The hull... Ghoul tools and food, I think, is that you just arrived in there? 160, yeah, you can actually carry everybody. I was a bit worried you wouldn't be able to for a second. That'll be why we're probably making a bit more money. Oh no, more tools are required to be taken. Have we got a bigger... Bigger truck? No. Sadly not, but I mean, how many can you carry? Got 155 weighted. Oh, you can carry 11. 15 trucks should visit in that time, surely. What have we got up here? Is somebody leaving? Yeah, you've got 105 bits of uh, bits of that on board. You've got none, but you are stuck behind a stopping train. Okay. But you're just, you're just re sort of stocking, aren't you? What I could do with as well is we need to sort of, yeah, we need to build Beverly over the railway somehow. I mean, this does strike me as the sort of place that would have level crossings. It's not a route I've ever, ever travelled on, but yeah, we we need some level crossings at Beverly because what's happening is the the town is sort of not expanding as much as it should do. You know, this should expand up here. And round there, you know, we've we've already got these on. You know, but the, the level crossing should hopefully houses will start to you know, if I just give it a little helping hand, build it past the station, like I did with Hull. We build that sort of to there and then down there like that. It's not perfect, is it? But it just sort of gives it, and then it can expand from there. Again, I don't know what's happening down at Hutton Cranswick. I can't see this expanded to be a massive town, to be honest with you. But what we will do is, again, just give it a little little helping hand like that. They're probably going to moan that the, uh, the railway is too loud. Again, just, just a bit over there. It's what we want, isn't it? We need to actually, in the next episode, make use of some of these brand new steam locomotives that we've got. Oh, look at that. Ferriby's, Ferriby's got the idea. A lot of other places don't. Oh yeah, I forgot we did all this on the live stream. Thank goodness me. Forgotten about this junction. Um, yes, we uh, we need to look at using some of those locos for the next time. In the next episode, uh, I want to actually, and when I say I actually want to, what I mean is I actually want to, uh, start getting some of those uh, those new bits and pieces running for goods, because we need goods into York to keep growing York. York is actually, again, getting to be quite large. The uh, Oh, look at that. The York to Hull Express with 141 waiting, so that's going to be leaving full. And that's the blue one as well, because the green one's already flying down here. That's... Okay, maybe they are spacing themselves out. That's, that's good. Right, well... Yes, uh, in the next episode we're going to look at getting some goods running to York. What's actually the biggest biggest city on the map? It is still Hull, just by a little bit. But then again, this has got a lot more coming into it, a lot more destinations. York, I think, again, yeah, that's it's just not quite getting there, is it, York? But yeah, Hull, nearly population of a thousand. My goodness me. Uh, yes, if you've enjoyed that... Thank you, uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed that, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. There's plenty more East Yorkshire madness where that came from. Uh, so do sub uh, subscribe so that you never miss out on any future episodes. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.